Yo, what's up, guys? Nice UFC. Welcome back to another video. More striking tips for you guys. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to win trades. And if you don't know what trades mean, when you play online, when you play ranked, you know, when you fight someone, you're gonna you're gonna be in situations where you know you're just throwing punches at, punches at each other, and you're trading damage to the head most of the time, right? And those situations can be 50-50 if you don't know what you're doing. You know, either you're going to get hurt or he's going to get hurt. I'm going to show you guys how to put yourself in situations where you'll, you'll be successful, you know, where you'll win the trades and you'll score knockdowns and you'll do damage to your opponent, right? So I'm going to go into a quick match first so you guys can see the health bar. Um, then I'll go into ranked. Um, obviously, in quick match, we're not going to play like a smart player. That You know, ranked will, will, play, will actually play someone that knows what they're doing. So... Yeah, so when I play, when I play ranked, you know, as of recently, I've been like self-analyzing my gameplay. You know, I've been in the moment when I'm literally playing. I ask myself like, Naz, what are you thinking about? And I ask myself these questions so I can so I can sit back and make these videos for you guys. And I'm basically trying to teach you guys my thought process because if you can think like me, you know, you'll you'll become a better player. Why can't we find a match? Let's do every weight class. Hopefully we don't get heavyweight, because I hate heavyweight. Let's get rid of the women's weights too. So yeah, like I was saying, if you guys can think like me, then you'll improve, right? And I'm not necessarily saying you should just completely change your whole play style and literally play how I play. You know, I just you just need to do the right things, whether you're a patient fighter or a, or a pressure fighter. As long as you can, as long as you have these small little bits of knowledge in your head and understandings, you know, it will just up your game automatically, right? So we're playing a level 51, not bad. Bantam weight. We're gonna go Sean O'Malley. I love Sean O'Malley. He's gonna go Peter Jan. So I'm gonna tell you guys a bit of what I'm gonna do in this match. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play like myself. I'm gonna throw strikes, you know, and if I can land some damage on his head without sustaining too much damage then I'll continue to throw. If he, if we trade, you know, and I'm not comfortable, then I can, then I can walk back and reset. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play normal. I'm gonna throw some strikes, throw some jabs if it lands. The slip straight, landed there. But you see how he's already reset his head health. You know, there's no point carrying on. I'm gonna wait a bit more. And if you watch me play ranked, you can see this is what I'm doing, and this is what I'm thinking about. That we traded, so there's no point continuing, right? Step back a bit, wait till you reset. Like, this guy's good, I like this, I like this. He's blocking. Landed, so I can continue throwing. I'm hoping he trades back when I've got the held health advantage, because that's where I'll be successful. He lands, so I move back. It's kind of like he's got a good understanding of it too, which is good, you know. And guys, I don't want you to be like overloading your mind about thinking about this. It needs to just be instinct, if that makes sense. You know, it's just a, it should be a small thing to you, you know. Don't go crazy about thinking about head health and stuff. It, it just needs to be natural to you. And you've got to be thinking about all other stuff too, like distance, head movement, you know. It just needs to be, you need to think about everything like a good player, you know. You don't need to be thinking about one thing at all times. We traded, so I'm going to wait. It's a close fight. I like how this is, how he's kind of good. I might actually try set up some head kicks, because why not? favorite combo. Keep the pressure on. Look at that head health launch, guys. He's going to be all defensive because he knows. That's bubblehead. Still. Nah, we'll reset. We'll reset. But look, we're winning the rounds. We're winning the fight. You know, there's no need to, for me to take any more risks now, if that makes sense. I explained that in my other video. Like, even my corner's screaming it. I've got this round. Be smart. Listen to your corner, guys. 
cut his eye open. I'm tempted to throw another head kick, but I'm just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be smart and show good IQ and be disciplined. Beautiful guys, beautiful. So look, we take the round, we scored a knockdown, and we we stuck to the fundamentals. You know, you know, I was only trading with him when I had the head health advantage. You know, sometimes if you really want, if you can take that risk of just fifty fifteing a knockdown where you just trade, that's up to you. Factors like your your fighter might make a difference. Like Sean O'Malley might have good punches compared to Yan, so you you know you can just go ahead and fifty fifty if you want. If you if you're trying to be smart. If you're trying to be safe, then I say pick your shots, wait for the right moments to trade, then go for it. Um, I'm fighting someone that's kind of smart too. You know, he's not he's not the worst quick match opponent. We've got stamina advantage. That's another good thing. It's a new round, guys. So I'm not in the lead, so I need to still damage him. I'm not going to be too patient. He lands a leg kick there, so I want to get that back. You know, it's like ping pong. We've got, we've got permanent head health advantage, so really guys, we can just be trading right now. We cut him open again. Fly neat. Oh. I'm hurt. Block slip. I was trying to use my block slips, but he was actually throwing the right strikes. He threw straight when I pulled and he threw a hook when I slipped. <laughs> well, we managed to get out of there. Patience, guys. We're still doing good. You, you probably noticed my pace has increased. That's because I know I've got permanent head health advantage. I'm going to I'm going to win all the trades no matter what and like in, in situations where it feels like they're too shelled up give them give them that space it's another tip I'll give you guys give them that space and they'll open up it might take a few risks to try hurt you, like throw a head kick like a hat. You know, so you can fish for those counters. Oh, we're hurt. Oh my god. Guys, I bottled it. Alright, we're still good. Guys, this happens. Controversy happens, you know. you just got to be calm. Alright. Let's not let him keep that pace up. You see how he's getting confident. Let's just let's throw back. Oh shit! Don't stop it. I don't want him to stop it. He shouldn't. He shouldn't stop it. Another tip, guys. If the if the stamina bar on the clock doesn't disappear, then it's just a warning. That's a little tip from me, guys. Just stay composed. Um. Yeah, you know how he's kind of getting confident with his striking. I can counter off that, or I could just throw back. I can trade. There's no need for me to set up a counter. I could just throw punches at the same time as him. He's using too much head movement, so I'm just going for his body. He's going to throw an uppercut. No, he's not. Now he's screwed, isn't he? Uh, don't die, Naz. Well, let's let's finish him off with my signature combo. No. It's got to be flashy, guys, isn't it? All right, fuck's sakes. All right, we're finishing him in this one, guys. Trust me on that. Also, guys, another tip I'm going to give you guys is when you're playing ranked, B 
be careful of real cheeky players, especially those who like to fake love touch. You know, that's what you got to be careful of. <laughs> Look, this guy's good. He's good. All right, guys, fundamentals. He's actually brought this back kind of good, you know. It's because I, it's because I wasn't disciplined. Look at his head health though. He's so screwed. I'm trying to get him to open up. There you go. Let's throw a body kick as he gets up. That's what I think about, guys. You know. What? Pian's crazy. Come on. Look at his health when he's not getting knocked out. <laughs> crazy, man. He made me look like a bot. But guys, there you go. That's a quick match. We're now going to move on to a ranked match. Obviously, in a ranked match, I'm going to I'm gonna be more focused, you know. Because my points are on the line. But quick match, I'm just going to have fun, aren't I? Um, but as long as you guys understand what I'm doing is I'm... I'm playing that sort of chess game where I'm trying to get that head health advantage first before I start throwing more strikes. If if you've got low head health, you shouldn't be trading with your opponent. That's come on. You guys should know that. Stay back, be patient, you know, be passive. Reset is when I when I'm cornering my mates or watching them play, when when I see their head health's low and they and it looks like they're about to go back in and engage, I'm like, wait, reset, reset, reset. Just to remind them to reset their head health before they come back in that's one thing i like to say and also guys you won't see the health bar stats on ranked but as of tomorrow or the day after when the patch drops the update drops no matter what division you're in you'll be able to see your opponent's health stats so don't worry about that and and the stamina bar the stamina bar will no longer be hidden so it's hidden right now because it's pre-patch but tomorrow or the day after you'll see your, your opponent's stamina bar on ranked that's a, this only applies to Division 15 and above. All right, guys. So you, this guy's. I know who this guy is. French player, technical. You know, we need to be smart here. Especially you guys with Volk, you don't want to be trading. He's got. He's got good health, health, head health stats. You know, he's crazy. And he's got a good punch in. This guy's throwing leg kicks. I'm not going to dive for the sake of the video. But usually I would dive, guys. I'm going to just stay on his head health. You see how I'm continuing to throw? I've still got head health advantage. He's panic shot. Right, we're going to reset now. But we know we've got permanent head health advantage on him. And again, let's trade with him. See that, guys? That is that is exactly what I mean. Now I'll go for the finish. You kind of gave up. But you guys get the point, right? Um, only trade when you know you've got that head health advantage. That's, that's how you'll be successful. That's how you'll get your stuns. That's how you'll get your drops. And... Fortunately, I was lucky enough to play someone who was just wild. And no matter what his head health was, he was throwing strikes. Hopefully, he watches this video and learns from his mistake. Um, but, yeah, guys, that's that's basically it for this video, guys. If it helps you out, drop a like. I'm going to drop more videos like these, of course. Um, drop a comment. Tell me what you guys want to see next. If there's an, uh, another area in this game that you need help with, I'll make a video on that. Make sure you look at my playlist first so you can see all my tips. Because I might have already made that video already. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna, my next video is probably going to be about the patch update. Or, you know, I'm going to be talking about the update. Or, or I'm, I'll make that when that update drops. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.